with the flag, you've got so many different positions. So I mean, you might have it like this. You might bring it leading a horse around like this. You might then be able to use it in front. So I mean, it's just sometimes I'll use the handle to take the front end around. It just depends. And you just have to be good at just changing that flag up. And then sometimes when you need to adjust your lead rope, you can just prop it up against yourself. You'll start to get that head down and figure it out. So now notice the flag, how I have this flag. So what I'll do is I'll just start to, and she even snorted a little bit. She saw it behind me and said, what is that thing? But notice when I step to the side, see her kind of offset the ha haunch, ready? Right there, right hind, right hind. See how she sort of offsets? So now, Ah, that's better. There. She's like, oh, you're a real person. You're there. And so, you know, sort of looking past me. There she looked away. So maybe I'll step around. And I might just bring that handle right past her rump and walk away. See how I did that? Halt. Review this. Now here I have a tool to help me. I can even use it to steady her front end. Walk past the rear. I need to offset this side a couple times. So there it is. You can see that left hind leg step under. I'll walk right past, lay this across her rump, but keep, keep it going. She goes, well, when you touch me, I should stop. And I'm saying, no, 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 you, you keep going. When my feet move, your feet move. Get your rump going. Good. And then I just present it the same way. Just turn it around. So I come past. She offsets the haunch. I'll come over the top. Then I'll run it past the rear, bring her to me, bring it over the top. I could use it now as a, now I need it to help drive her good. Come right past the rear, bring her to me, halt. Now, because of, you know how she looked through at you or over you sometimes? Well, she can't look over that flag. So if she's looking at me, I might let her settle. If she's looking at the tractor or the road, then I might work that flag a little bit. Many of you have used the flag with your horse standing still, but it's more important to get them used to that flag when they're moving. All right, so do you notice how my posture's up and tall and I'm leading somewhat? Well, what now, what if I bring my posture down and relax a little bit and change my thought to halt, and stop my feet? So think of the difference between this posture now, I'm exaggerating, and this posture here. But then when we come up over the top of her, that's like a rider up here. Hey, I'm a rider, I'm riding. So get her used to that. Now I'm gonna bring the life down, my posture down, stop my feet. My thoughts come to halt now, um, which she's gonna find it here in a second. And I'm not just pulling her around to a halt, I'm letting her find it. Good, get this side done. All right, now I'm gonna bring her down to a halt. So now I relax, look at that head come down. You could do this with a brush, a saddle pad, a dressage whip, a rope. Wouldn't matter if it's a flag at all. She's gonna find that halt here in just a second, good. So does that kind of make sense? I didn't just go right at her. As much, we'd like to get this forehand working a little better. So give me two minutes with her. And then I'll hand, I'll hand her back, and maybe I can get that, that shoulder coming through better. But I'll tell you, the trick to getting the shoulder to come through is in the hindquarters. And you're thinking, what? But if she can step the haunch over, that sets her up to bring the front end across. So moving the hindquarters is so important for this because she steps that rear, sort of, and then... She, she, that'll set her up to kind of bring that shoulder through. A couple more times. Good. That was nice. Now she's excited, so I'll lay the flag on her and say, hey, you know what? I'll use this flag as like an arm to reach up and rub you a little. Now here I might put it under her. You might not go here, Brenda, yet. Now some people go, well, what's the big deal? But they don't see very good right there, you know. She's trying. She's working at it. A little forward motion. If they don't cross under with their inside hind leg, under, that means they weren't forward enough. 
So she needs to cross that left hind leg under. You need a little forward motion in the mix for that. Good, now take your shoulder back, take your weight back. Now step across. That's a little nicer. To convey a clear idea or a clear intention. So if we want move, again, you're, you're, th you're, you're thinking, I don't need to do any more of these clinics because it's the same concept. But if, so if I'm walking along, I've got movement, life, even my posture's up, then maybe I just reach up and she's like, oh, you're gonna hit me with the rope, but <laughs> just let her come to a halt and then forward motion again. And then I'll reach up. I'll try to clear this up a little bit. I can always bend her nose to me, you know, so I can always bend her nose to me. So here, I brought the life down. I just think about grounding, grounding it out. It's almost like I've got a connection to the rear and the front. So here we're walking, but here we're gonna halt, ready? And here we're gonna walk. So I'm gonna stand tall, lead. So I'm thinking in my, br in my mind, I'm thinking about what I want to have happen. Ready, here comes a halt, good. So the rope, lay that rope up there. She's skeptical. I could lay that rope up there and just have her stand still. Now you're not just getting them used to the rope. So don't, don't get the wrong idea because you're not just getting them used to the saddle pad or the flag. You're really getting the horse clear on your idea, your intention. The, the rope is just my long arm or the flag is just my long arm. You know what I mean? It's an extent, it, it, you got it. All right, so now I'm gonna lay it up here. Now she moved. She, she, even when it runs on the saddle, she's like, ooh, but she, but that's okay. It's a start. Now if she, if she needs to move, I might keep it going. I'm always ready to bend her nose to me. Hey, you know what? When you mount a horse, you're going to get on, you might accidentally rub your foot on the rump. So they need to learn. We make mistakes. Accidents happen. Don't freak out. Now you notice how I give her a little time to just carry it and, and not, I don't keep swinging it and swinging it and swinging it. I might work on the hindquarters here at the same time, stepping the hindquarters around. Take that down, I'll do the other side. We're gonna get her good here in just a, just a minute. Oh, she, she says, I don't mind, I don't mind this side as much. So that's what I did in the clinic. And even, a, and she even has a girth on right? And she still feels this rope around her barrel. But that goes along with that one time when I rode her and I said she's got to, she's, she's nervous about legs on both sides. Remember the aids on both sides? This has a lot to do with it. This is good. So yeah, you kind of just, you kind of swing it and it'll come under and you can grab it. If you miss it, you just, just swing it. Yeah. And try it again. I missed, right? Swing it, it whacks her a little, which is good. It's a handle, I have a handle on her flank, <laughs> or a back cinch, and then I'll move a horse along a little bit. I wanna halt here, I'm gonna hand her back to you in just a second. Now that's a little nicer. You don't have to get it done in one day. There, notice my feet aren't moving, and I'm just sort of, I'm, I'm, my eyes are open, so I'm focusing on the whole horse. My plan I want to try to get across to her is halt or settle. Think of settling in. So I want her life there to come down. Good, good. A walk away, give her a little break. Now one little side note on her, when she moves the hindquarters, do you see how she's a little stiff like a board? She doesn't draw her mind, check this out. I'm gonna get her, yeah. Let's work on it. That was a little better. So watch your ears. And I'm gonna have her look to the outside. The ear will go out, but her left ear, right now her left ear is set forward. She's bending to the outside, but I'll see if I can get that left ear in on me. There it is. And then a little more forward motion. So the idea is she'd bend in towards me. Oh, look, give me some consideration. There's that left ear. The, the ear points where the eyes looking, remember? Left ear, she's ready, look it, and then I'll back off and she bends better through the body. So the race, I get a lot of thoroughbreds and they're like that too. You ask them to turn and they don't look. They just turn on the center and go, Oop, and they're like a board. Yeah, you see that jumping too, yeah. 
So can she bend through the body? A little forward motion. A little, for, a little forward. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'll give her back to you here in a second. So right now on this side, she does, I'm not getting her to bend in. So she's m sort of missing that hind end. So let's get her to focus on me. There's a change there. Move the hind back off. 